Hi, this is Pavel with an exercise 8 from chapter 6 in the book uh, starting out with C++ uh, from control structures to objects. We are going to simulate a cosine uh, or tossing of a coin and when we we will create a function of th with that name and we will call that function uh, which should then generate a random number in the range of 1 through 2. Obviously heads or tails, 1 or 2. If the random number is 1 the function should display heads, if it's, it's two, it should display tails. We will demonstrate the function, we will ask the user how many times he wants us to toss the coin and that's uh, how many times we will simulate it, in other words we will run it through the loop. Okay, so um, I'll do something, usually I write a prototype on the top of the main because I want the main to be the first function, but to show you that it doesn't have to be, you, uh, you can have a, the function first and then that way you don't have to do the prototypes but I would prefer it the other way but just for this exercise I'll show you that it's not really necessary so the function is called coin toss and um, uh, I don't think it will accept anything so it will simply accept nothing avoid and we, over here we will do the random number, so uh, our random number, that's our variable. And um, in order for us to do the random number, I need to in include some libraries. So include a CSTD library and the time library, because that's how the random function, uh, random number works in uh, C++. It's based on the, on the time on the system time okay so here's our random number and I uh, will generate the number so random number equals it's supposed to be one or two so it's one plus and uh, it's going to be random there you go that's the random number one it starts with one to two inclusive and all this is going to do is return the random number. All right. And now we have the number one or two. So now we can uh, process it. So um, first we need to go to, this is in our main. So we, we, t we ask the user how many times to toss the coin. So how many times? I'll just call it that. Call it zero. Initialize it to zero. Our random number. I'll initialize it to zero and uh, I will do a string head tail in other words if one is uh, one or two is head or tail and initialize it to empty okay so I'll ask the user how many times to toss the coin how many times to toss the coin and the user answers and we will store that in our how many times variable okay so now we have the uh, random number so um, what I need I need I need to do the uh, the time to generate the, the number all right so uh, this is the seed seeding uh, the random number generator and uh, rater. okay so this is our uh, seeder and we we cannot have this in the loop because uh, again it's pro uh, the random number is generated based on the uh, system time and if it's within the loop the numbers would be the same because the, it, would, it would be so quick the time would really not even change uh, enough for it to be a different number, it was either all ones or, or twos. So that's why it's outside of the loop. So now we can uh, we can do our loop. So integer i equals. We'll start with one. Uh, that's how many times we we, we're not gonna, we could start from ze make it zero base, but we, you know we ask how many times and the user doesn't enter zero times. If it does, then we don't do anything, obviously. So it is less or equal to the user supply number whatever the user wants us to, how many times the user wants us to toss the coin so uh, here is our loop 
and inside we will assign the random number whatever is written from the random number generator uh, which is basically the function uh, okay so uh, I will do a random number and it equals to the coin toss function whatever is returned from that is either one or two is assigned to a random number all right so um, now it's a simple matter of uh, conditional statement if uh, random number equals one we go do the head tail equals head because one is uh, represents head else it's always one or two so we don't need any else if statements uh, so else it obviously uh, will equal to tail so uh, our head tail equals to tail okay so uh, that's, that's our loop and um, after each toss we will simply output C out uh, head tail whatever was thrown uh, or tossed at, the, at that time all right so uh yeah let's test that okay how many times to toss the coin how about 10 times so we got tail 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 head head tail tail head 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 and is it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten times there you go let's try it again with some uh, we should get some different numbers tail 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 a lot of tails only two heads you know so and um, I don't know let's make it 100 there you go Ooh, lots of tails lots of heads so but it's all random so uh, it seems to be working again I put this function on the top so I don't need the prototype because the main already sees the function and uh, but if you go to our main we have our we ask the user how many times to uh, toss the coin we have our random number uh, initialized to zero that would be one or two and we have we have our head tail which will hold the head or tail string so again we ask the user and user enters how many times to toss the coin we will see the generator uh, the random number generator and uh, over here we, we call the cos coin toss function which actually does the random number all right so uh, with already we, the, the numbers are already seeded so it will simply go and does uh, picks a random number from one to two and returns it so now our random number equals whatever was uh, returned from that function one or two and if it's one then we have a head if it's two then we have a tail and we will simply display where, which one it was and then we go to another iteration as again as many times as the user wanted us to and again we call the uh, function this time we don't need to seed it anymore uh, there's no need for that because uh, it's still within the same program so we are, it's already seeded and we can go and uh, simply pick the random number from one to two again return it head and tail uh, display it as many times as the user wants so uh, that's the program i hope it helps you and i'll see you next time take care